Got okay, this. who likes music? Who likes rap music? Who likes gangster rap music? <laughs> right, cool. So, my presentation is on NWA. It's Niggas with Attitude. Their group is combined with Dr. Dre, Ice Cube, Easy E, MC Ren, and DJ Yellow. So, um, DJ Yellow, or Ice Cube and Dr. Dre and EDE were good friends. And Dr. Dre was um, an MC around the uh, local area. And when they were to, went to go record their very first song, it took EZE two days to record uh, Boys in the Hood. Um, today I'm going to talk about the album Straight Outta Compton. First, I will talk about. First, I will talk about the members and causes to make the album. Second, I will talk about the songs and give you a better understanding. And third, I will talk, you, talk to you about the impact and why they broke up. So Easy e was a gang member and a drug dealer. He was known all around and everybody knew it. Um, nobody expected him to become a musician, and he just had money. That's what made him be, get the record company called Ruthless Records. Dr. Dre had been arrested at the, that night for punching somebody, but that was the reason why Easy had bailed him out. He had bailed him out the next day due to traffic violations on his Mazda <coughs> 7. According to MTV.com, when Easy bailed him out, he asked Dr. Dre to be a co-producer in Ruthless Records, and Dr. Dre said yes. Um, Ice Cube was the lyrical genius behind all the music. He knew how to come up with the music and just go at it hard. He was going through rough patches, and all of them hated the cops. Um, they all had their own experiences with them, and that was just the way they knew how to exp uh, express it. MC Ren helped out Cube with lyrics, but he wasn't as good at it. He thought he was a genius, but really he just thought he was better than everybody with his experiences with other groups. DJ Yellow was another co-producer, but after Dr. Dre and Ice Cube left, there wasn't really a group anymore, so DJ Yellow wasn't really, didn't have anything to do anymore. The songs all had their own meaning, and if you listen to them carefully, they will give you a better understanding of what they are, were going through. Straight Outta Compton. It's a song that expresses where they came from, what they went through. Um, F the police. When they, if you saw the movie, the movie expresses that I, they were harassed outside of a, um, out of a recording studio. What happened was Ice Cube had written the song before the anything had even happened, and he was serving sentences every weekend due to traffic violations. When the harassment had happened, he went outside, or he went back inside to the studio and just started laying down the track. MC Ren jumped on it and Ice Cube jumped on it and it just became a track that it is today. Gangsta Gangsta is another track and it expresses that not everybody is a gangster because of their skin color. You can't just portray somebody because you see them and that's like, oh okay, that's who he is. Express Yourself was a track that let them express how they felt with cop brutality and the way that people were going through their lives in that community. And Dope Man was another track that expressed that just because you saw somebody on the corner of the street and they were black and they were in Compton, California, you can't just assume that they're Dope Man. Even though this album had an amazing outcome, there was many problems that led this group that this group was heavily affected by. The group went through a lot. They toured around California, or through the world, but there wasn't really like a big thing about it. They didn't have any radio publicity, any movie publicity, anything. So when they went around, it was just something really quick. They performed in Detroit, 
and the cops went to them and they had an FBI warning saying that they weren't allowed to play certain music. When the group played that music after the show, they were all got together and they all were escorted to the hotel. No, they weren't arrested, but at the at, by, at the end of the night, when they went down to the lobby to meet a, a group of girls, they were arrested then. Um, so, okay. The impact of this album had a great. It was a great impact. Um, it showed people around the world what people were actually going through and that um, cop brutality was a big thing. The Rodney King um, had just happened and they were dealing with <laughs> they were dealing with all this brutality and nobody could really understand. Nobody really cared about it because it wasn't something that they had to deal with in life. But there was a bunch of people that actually had to deal with this. Um, the group broke up due to um, the, gr the group broke up due to Ice Cube not getting paid enough money and other financial um, disagreements. Ice Cube went on to become a movie star and different groups creating 13 albums. And Dr. Dre um, went on to do albums and uh, produce his Beach Entertainment and uh, many other albums. That's our presentation.